everybody. I wanted to do a brief tutorial about how to start off using Scratch. So we're going to open a new window in our browser. We're going to go to Scratch. I'm just going to search it up real quickly. It's run by MIT, which is a really impressive college in Massachusetts. So if you go ahead and click right there, it'll bring up Scratch Imagine Program Share, that one right there, scratch.mit.edu, if you, it's easier for you to just plug in the URL. So you're going to go ahead and the first time you do this, you're going to join Scratch. Okay, so I'm going to use a Scratch username. Use Teacher Everlay. All right, and so you're going to set up a password, pick something that's easy. You may want to use your school stuff. That's up to you. Next, all right, and you have to tell it how old you are. I'm going to bump this off the screen because, you know, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. That's just kind of weird. But you've got to give it your birth month and your birth year. It mostly wants to know your birth year um, because if you're under a certain age, it doesn't want to um, give you too much permissions without checking with your parents. We'll just go ahead and hit next. All right, and it says to join Scratch. Enter your email address. And it will send you an email to confirm your account. You do have to do this step. Okay, I don't want to receive updates from the Scratch team. I already get enough junk mail. That's just enough of that. So we'll hit next there. Okay, so we are now logged in and I can start exploring and creating. Yay. Um, it will only let me go to a certain point before it shuts me, shuts me down. So that should is enough for you to get signed in and signed up. We'll go ahead and stop this video here. Stay tuned for another one about how to get started in creating your own first programs.